Now, Hong Kong has identified artificial intelligence as one of the key sectors to drive sustainable growth. It's aligning itself to China's national development, focusing on areas such as supercomputing capabilities, data, and talent in AI. The city also is seeking to support local institutions in the tech sector, pumping in 129 million US dollars to establish a new R&D center. Mei Wong finds out how Hong Kong is faring in the local AI game. I got a fever and it's hard for me to sleep. This is an AI-driven model that can conduct a pre-consultation before a patient physically sees a doctor. Called MedDoctor, it works like a medical GBT and can answer questions, generate medical reports and provide initial diagnoses based on medical images. Developed locally by the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology, it can compile medical information and help save precious time when doctors can focus on patients' treatment. Another locally AI-developed model, MOMI, helps to diagnose breast cancer. It can distinguish malignant from benign breast lumps using MRI scans without the need for invasive biopsies. The model achieves an accuracy level comparable to radiologists with more than five years' experience, according to Dr. Hao Chen, who leads the two AI projects. For the whole career of a doctor, they actually can't see actually, you know, a million cases or several million cases here. But, you know, with the good digital infrastructure, large-scale data that we collected from the hospitals, the AI models, by learning from these large-scale data, they actually can mine the knowledge. The AI models can provide the more uh, objective, actually, information here, and then it can reduce, the, actually, the inconsistency, such as actually facilitate the uh, improvement of the accuracy. Both projects are in the final phase of pilot testing with local hospitals before the official launch. And it's not just universities that are developing AI models in Hong Kong. Consultancy firm Deloitte, for example, started its own AI institute in early 2023 to develop customized AI projects for its clients. We are working for, for example, an insurance company and then conventionally, usually we have some chatbot that can only take care of two or three documents. But now we have a system that can take care of more than 10,000 documents. But now they can use AI, you can use their own tablet to search for the answer that they want and very efficient and quick. Compared to other Chinese cities like Shenzhen and Hangzhou, who are early movers in AI development, Hong Kong appears to be late in the game. However, some believe Hong Kong does not need to play catch-up with them. Instead, the city should tap on its financial hub status to ramp up AI development targeted at this sector and also take the lead in devising AI regulations. At the moment, the AI regulatory framework is, uh, uh, is still weak. You know, we, we have conducted some earlier research on uh, uh, responsible AI. If you look at the safety and responsibility of AI usage, for example, if you ask AI a question about the unethical question or illegal question, whether AI can reply to you, right? In the future, the government should have come up with a set of regulatory framework to show how to appropriately develop AI and guide AI usage. There's no doubt that AI is the future. And at the Hong Kong Science Park here is home to many research, tech and innovation companies, including a number of AI startups. And that's exactly what the Hong Kong authorities want to see, greater development in AI. That's because the government believes that AI will define the competitiveness of corporations and economies and also have a significant impact on geopolitics in the future. Mei Wong, CNA, Hong Kong.